Angleside, it's Trex, and it's just me for today. Um, eighth grade AZ Merit is over this week, and good luck to all the students. Last Wednesday that was our first repeat day. In other news, for students entering seventh and eighth grade next school year, the Phoenix Police Department will be hosting a police a Phoenix Police Young Youth Experience over the spring break, over summer break. The free program is one week long and will introduce students to what occurs at the police, Phoenix Police Department on a daily basis and will provide the students with the ability to build relationships with police officers and the civilians that work within the department. Interested or additional information, see Officer, officer Harrington. <laughs> but in the next commercial, we'll see Ingleside students say which day they like better. Blue or white. After this quick commercial break, we'll see whether in Payson with Sedona. What is the reason for you being on Student Spotlight? The reason I'm on Student Spotlight is because I am a contortionist and I thought it would be cool to share it. Okay. How long have you been a, a contortionist? Um, I started at like five or six. I was in gymnastics and my teacher realized that I'd always overbend and my cousin showed me like this thing where you can put your legs over your head and see that. But yeah. Okay. Are you still in gymnastics? I am no longer in gymnastics, but I do tumbling. It's basically tumbling is basically what you like, learn how to do backflips and stuff like that. Okay. Thank you. What a good student spotlight. Hey guys, it's Sedona. We are ironing in weather today. Here in Arizona, we have a high, we have a high of 89 and a low of 60. The average today is 89. It will be partly windy with wind speeds of 14 miles per hour and 14% humidity. Since I already told you the weather for today, I'll tell you the rest of this week. For, for Tuesday, there is a high of 82 and a low of 59. Wednesday, there is a high of 86 and a low of 60. Almost like today's weather. As requested in the, the weather in Payson. Today in Payson, there is a high of 60 and a low of 41. The average is 59 and the humidity is 16%. Lastly, the wind speed is 7 miles per hour. Now back to your anchors. Thank you, Sedona. Well, today in history, 19, 1898, American President William McKinney asked Congress for the de declaration of war with Spain. So there's your history lesson. Now the sports with James. He's going to talk about our amazing track team. It was a tough meet against Coco Bar, Desert Canyon, Tanya, and Echo Canyon in 12 to 20 miles per hour winds at Coronado High School this Wednesday, but Ingleside athletes pulled through, and here are their scores. In the girls' 100 meter, Madigan Brand came third place, and Alexandra Murphy came fifth place. In boys 100 meter, Plaz Johnson came in fourth place, and Dimitri Blauen came in fifth place. In girls 200 meter, Madigan Brand came in fifth place. In the boys 200 meter, Dimitri Blauen came in fourth place. In the girls 1600 meter, Jenna Mukovitz came in fourth place. In the boys 1600 meter, Kyle Baclow came in third place. In the girls 4x100 meter, Ingleside came in fourth place. In the boys 4 by 100 meter, Ingleside came in second place and fourth place. Okay, Ingleside, in the next show, I'll say the shot put, javelin, high jump, and long jump. Also, Arcadia Youth Titan Clubs defeats the Grizzlies 19 to 22. That's all for today, Ingleside. For some further news, let's go back to your anchor. Thanks, James. And to keep up with the go to work track team, time for a dad joke of the day. Did you know the first french fry were actually cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece? Okay, anyways, for the students who want to be ambassadors, the applications will be out April 22nd in the cafeteria and, or, or in the office for 7th and 6th graders can apply. The applications will be done on May 3rd at 2.20. Now on the side, time for a serious question. Breakfast or dinner? And James is arguing for dinner. While well, I'm going to say breakfast is the most important meal of the day because it's the first one, let's hear James' opinion. Although it's the first one, it, it can be really, 
really unhealthy. Like with a cereal, as in cinnamon cup toast crunch, and a pure sugar. Unlike dinner where it's even about steamed vegetables, and although not all the time, you can have some steak with it too. So you're saying uh, breakfast is only cereal and you can't have eggs in the morning or strawberries or something like that, James? Although you can have that, you're, uh, you're not going to be very, I'm not, at least for me, I'm not going to be very hungry, I'm not very hungry in the morning, so. Well, you're not everyone, James. All right. Let's check this opinion. All right. Oh, well, that's it. Eagle side. I think breakfast won, but if you want to argue for James, good luck. Hot dog. That's goodbye in. That's goodbye in. Hot dog. That's goodbye in. Norwegian. just as bad as smoking. The health risks of vaping might even surprise you. This addictive practice needs to stop. Vaping can cause an increasing blood pressure, stimulated heart, heart attacks, raised blood fat, constricted blood vessels, and worst of all, cancer all can potentially lead to death. On some occasions, you can get nicotine poisoning from vaping. Vaping can also cause dry mouth, dizziness, a really bad cough, dry skin, itchiness, dry eyes, nosebleeds, and bleeding gums. Here are a few dangerous examples of people vaping. It has been said many times that vaping is better than smoking, but doctors and scientists can't entirely back up their claim. And honestly, vaping is really dangerous for any adolescent, even adults. If you have tried vaping and you just cannot stop, then the best thing to do for your health is quit. Quit now, quit today, quit forever.